Welcome, Hortlings, to another Game Hoarder production. To bring to thee the Wizardry Trilogy, the story of Lilagem. 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 This is the Super Nintendo version of Wizardry 1, 2, and 3. Originally released on the Famicom only, I believe. And uh, was later translated to English. I'm not sure it ever got an official release in the U.S. But as with the early Might and Magics, uh, the original PC version suffered pretty greatly in the graphic and sound realm. So I decided to uh, do these first three at least on the Super Nintendo. Uh, we'll definitely be doing... Six and seven, Bane of the Cosmic Forge and, and uh, Dark Crusade or whatever it is, Dark Savant. Those are must-dos on the PC. I'm not sure if uh, four and five ever got a a different good release, but I'll definitely look into that. May end up doing those on PC. This is a super simplistic dungeon crawler. Especially this first one, even more so than Might, the Might and Magic series. You're literally just making a party in getting thrust into the dungeon. I don't even think there's an introduction. You can choose the three different books here, proving grounds of the Mad Overlord, the legacy of Lilligam, and the Knight of Diamonds. And then you can come here to the tavern and you can add, remove party members. I've already made our party here in Went ahead and grinded a little bit just to get them out of the first few boring levels and get them to where they have some survivability. Honestly, it hasn't been that hard. Not a lot of death. They might have made this a little bit easier than the PC version. I'm going to go ahead and load my current party, who are all level 5. Haven't gone past the first section, first region of the dungeon at all. Uh, just basically walking back and forth, grinding low-level enemies. So here we are with our current party. We will mostly be taking from our Might and Magic and other games. We have Lug Lug, our human evil fighter. Trog, our dwarf neutral fighter. Low Wing. Our human neutral fighter. Fidget is our thief. I've used Fidget before. It's been a thief name I've been using for quite a while. In fact, I think he was in our original Eye of the Beholder. He's a hobbit. Evil hobbit thief. Clot is the evil gnome priest. Priestess. And of course, Ronstock is an elven evil mage. You cannot mix good and evil characters in this game. Uh... If you try to, it will only add evil and neutral or good and neutral. All right, so we have our tavern again. Inspect our party members here. Lug Lug is level five. You can see the experience they have, experience they need. Gold, marks, age. Yes, we're very young. Start out very young in this game. Armor class. Uh, I'm, assume, I'm assuming rest in peace or rip is how many times you've died, possibly. I'm not sure. I haven't even gone over the manual on this. I just wanted to get get in and get going. And discover as I go. The game hoarder way. Uh, for strength, got 18. Good vitality as well. And Lug Lug is wielding chain mail, long sword, and helm at, the, at this point. You can switch with the L1 and L R1 buttons on the Super Nintendo controller, which is what I'm using. 
Prog also level 5. Nice strength and vitality. 54 hit points, just like Lug Lug. Marks, I'm assuming, is the amount of actual kills you've had. Trog's a little older. He's a he's a 17-year-old dwarf. Which basically makes him a toddler. A little fat dwarf baby. The Wang is 16 years old. He has 18 strength, 17 vitality. Gave him a little bit more agility. I believe you can change classes in this. Again, something else I'm going to need to look up, look into, do a little bit of research on. Fidget. 16 years old. Really good agility and luck. He's our thief. 25 hit points, wearing leather armor, short sword, and has a helm. Clot. She, uh... Is wielding an anointed mace and wearing chainmail. She is good at piety, vitality, and has 36 hit points. You can see she has five first level priest spells and four second and third level spells. Ron Stock, 14 year old little elf. Basically makes him negative two in human years. Uh, wielding a staff and wearing some robes, and he's very high IQ and agility. You can see his spells there as well. So that's our party right now. Divi Gold. So I usually just compound it onto one person when we're doing the uh, training and stuff. You, you come and rest in the inn, and that's how you level in this one. That's basically trained by sleeping. Um, but it costs money to sleep. One thing I noticed is it doesn't seem if you can stay in like different types of rooms. You can stay in a shitty room, a good room, an expensive room. It doesn't seem to affect the amount of hit points you gain. The trading post is where we can buy and sell, uncurse, identify, pool gold. It's all pretty basic stuff, but there are all these super expensive things that we're no, nowhere close to being able to afford. So I'm just kind of focusing on the basic weapon and armor for now. I uh, might eventually be able to get some of this sturdy plate, shiny chain. Different shields, only one kind of helm, some 6,000 gold piece Gloves made of copper. Should be 6,000 copper. Uh, we also have potions. Let's see, it looks like some of the translation screwed with the capitalization there. Pool gold and leave. Haven't been able to go to the temple yet. But we can go to the edge of town and we can go right into the maze, which is the meat of the game. The training grounds, actually, uh, you don't train here. This is where you create your characters. You can change names, things like that. You can change the scenario and go to Wizardry 2 or 3 if you'd like. Should be able to transfer our, our party in this, I would imagine. Accidentally uh, kicked my party out. All right, here we are. I'm going to show you everywhere I've been. Do not think there's a map. No auto map on this. You just make the map yourself. 
You can hit the pause button to bring up the interface with your stats. Uh, view help, which is this screen. get to the door you basically kick it down or kick through it it's really dark because we need to cast a light spell but at least you can see a little bit So you use your thief to look for traps and you usually will find them. If he doesn't, it might blow up. Very similar to Might and Magic. You can try to search. Milwa is our light spell. You just try to walk through the door, you get solid! You have to push through it with the A button. the monsters so sometimes the monsters will be have this shadowy red orange tint to them and sometimes they'll be in full color you can see fidget can now fidget now has the ambush ability Pretty much as far as I played, those three rooms, just back and forth, back and forth. Fidget was found. Looks like he tried to hide and the skeleton saw him. The skeleton tried to chew on Trog's balls. A trapless chest.
Now, since I've leveled up a bit, you can notice some of the enemies run away. When you come down here, level one, two, three, it's a little bit different. But I wanted to kind of just dive right in and get going instead of wandering back and forth for the first 45 minutes of the video. Although we probably still won't be able to go too deep. So now we can actually see the kobolds. to see if I can find some documentation on this. Uh, obviously, the original manual is in Japanese, and I cannot read Japanese. Minor heel spell, Dios. Apparently I haven't learned any level 2 priest spells, but I have slots for them. Standard style magic casters need more experience, and the thief always needs the least amount for some reason. So when you start running out of spells and such, you can go back to the Adventures Inn. It's kind of weird because only one person is staying, is resting. I'm guessing the turbo file is how you save. I don't know what that did. I have a safe state just in case I fuck things up here, but... Oh yeah, that took us back into... Completely reset it. 
This is what the game would look like, not translated. Not sure. Have to do some research, like I said. Let's try the low milwa. Assuming this is a longer light spell. Sure, I just got teleported. In this room is a statue of a monster with the body of a chicken and the head of a cat. The statue is made of bronze and lies on an onyx pedestal. There are unusual runes on a plaque thereon. Fuck yeah, I'm gonna search. Find a key, baby. There's a gem encrusted statue of a hooded man here. A golden light emanates from the hood. In front of the statue is an altar in which pungent incense is burning. Oh shit, we find Murphy's ghost. Cast Matu, I have no idea what it does. Murphy's ghost. Now where to? Some scruffy ass men, kill him. Like Fidget has that ad symbol, that means they're ready to level.
her buttons. It's an elevator. A strange glow seems to emanate from this room. In the center, a smallish man in a long robe turns toward the party and shouts, Be gone, strangers! He slowly waves his hand and chants, Mapiro Mahamadiroma! And he teleports you out of the fucking dungeon. Well, I can rest and level. Fidget. So, in the normal game, what you had to do is rest and hope you get a good amount of hit points. And if you didn't, you had to reset and, of course, try again. Pretty much just like in all my other games. Well, Might and Magic is a different story because it's set hit points based on the town in which you level or train. But in Bard's Tale, quick save, quick reload, outside of the training hall until I get what I want kind of thing. Same thing's going to happen here. Thieves don't get a whole hell of a lot of hit points, but let's go ahead and get Fidget leveled up. So when you level up, it looks something like this. Unfortunately... It doesn't look like my thief can get much more than one hit point so far. So, but he did gain strength, piety, and vitality. Um, you can also lose attributes. You can lose strength, but gain piety. Lose piety, gain strength. You can gain multiples, strength, vitality, piety, IQ, and you can lose multiples. So it's pretty freaking random. Which is why I'm going to min-max these biatches. Especially if he's only getting one hit point. Um, I mean, his vitality isn't that bad, so I'm not sure. I think 18 is the max for the other stats, so I don't think I have the option of getting more agility or luck. Uh, but a thief only getting one hit point on a level seems, seems a bit low. However, that was after like 15 loads every time I got one hit point. That pretty much tells me that that's all I'm going to get. It might be a kind of balancing thing where the game knows and only lets you have as many max hit points at a certain stage in the game. I have no clue. We can get some sturdy plate for that. I'm going to have to look up all this stuff and print out some sheets because I don't know what's what. Let's go do some more adventuring until then. some messages we killed some miserly Murphy ghost guy
A large sign on the wall reads, Area Out of Bounds. You can see there's some kind of pressure plate here as well. As you enter this room, a gold smoke fills it, and you feel compelled to leave immediately. That is interesting. I zapped my spell off me, too. In this room is a silver statue of a boar with horns and long fangs. On the wall by the statue is a message partially obscured that appears to have been left by the passing elves. It is hardly legible, but some comments warning about ghosts and demons can still be made out. We will search and find a key. Obviously, I've been using some rough draft maps here that I found. It kind of shows me the passages, where the doors are at, where monsters might be. It doesn't tell me exactly what's what, though, which is good. I like to leave some obscurity. I think we are ready to go down to the next level, though. I'm not having too much trouble with the enemies on this level. Could not disarm it. Keep trying. Don't give up. Five men in chain. They're fleeing. The gas bomb. It was triggered. Paralyzed. Not good. I'm not sure how to do. Maybe I can go to the church now. Let's find out. We have some more levels. Oh, yeah, the temple. 600. That's terrible. That cost a lot of gold. I need to be careful about that shit. Holy fuck.
trying to see if I can reorder without... I know there's a way to do this. You change the sorting there, which is good, I guess, when I re-add. All right, we're all rested up and leveled. Let's head back into the maze. Oh, I should rest. Rest of my cleric. Let's go over our spells here. Diost is a heal. Milwa is a uh, light spell. I don't have anything under two yet. Level three spells, we have the uh, low Milwa, which is a longer version of Milwa. It lasts the entire expedition, but it is extinguished when we enter any dark areas. Now we have Dialco or Dalco cures paralysis. I probably should have figured that out before uh, I went and paid 600 gold pieces to have the church do it. Uh, so yeah, cures paralysis for that and Latuma Peak. Latuma Peak uh, identifies monsters. You can cast this at camp or combat. Either way, it allows you to identify all monsters until you go back into the castle again. You'll see identify in the status box indicating that the spell is active. Mage spells here, and by the way, spell levels go up to seven, as you can see. We have Duma Pick, extremely valuable spell. It gives the location relative to the stairs. This is good for if you need to make maps for sure. And I, I gotta rest my mage to get my other spells back. Well, shit. Let's see if we can get them up a level first. Okay, we are on level two. Get interesting. A friendly group of ga gas clouds. Killing friendly groups in this will lower your um, alignment. Now, we're an evil party. However, leaving them alone will uh, raise your alignment. So I'm going to kind of have to alternate and balance because I want to try to keep 
Lo Wang neutral, because I was going to make him a samurai. You see a statue of a bear on a pedestal. On the wall is a sign reading, I got a million of them. Find this little statue piece. This is not a friendly gas cloud. See our attacks or our, our combat spells now as well. Um, so let's go over these. So I can try to learn these. Kalki lowers the AC of the party by one. We know Dios heals. Badios does one to eight point of damage to the monster. Uh, Milwa does light, of course, and Porfic lowers the AC of the caster by four helps out the priest by himself. Now we can now see some level 2 spells. Matu lowers the AC of 2, so it's a little bit stronger of an armor class. Remember, lower armor class is better than this. Mana foe, uh, cures paralysis in a group of monsters. Uh, causes, excuse me, not cures. Uh, and Montino causes sound to quit transmitting, so this is good against spellcasters. Bamatu is the combat spell. It lowers all armor classes of the characters by four points in the duration of combat. So you could try that. Now we can see some of Ronstock's offensive spells here because he is the mage. Not to be confused with the wizard, which is basically a combination of cleric and mage. Uh, we have Halito, which causes 1 to 8 damage. It's a fire spell spell. Mogref lowers the armor class of the caster by 2. And Katino is basically a sleep spell. Dildo, I mean Dilto, causes darkness to surround a group of monsters, making us harder to hit. And Sopic will lower the armor class of the caster by 4 points. Clouds casting some magic. Calfo is a disarm spell. Uh, in case you don't have a thief, but. I screwed that up, anyways. Another thing to note is to never, is to try to heal up as much as you can before you go to the inn to rest because every hit point takes time to heal. So the less hit points you have to heal when you go and rest in town, the less time you will waste. And yes, we are basically young teenagers or middle teens right now, but time will fly. You surprised the monsters. Three priests and scruffy men. Definitely want to take these priests out. Scruffy men are here. Ambush. Ah, fidget was found. Rogue takes off, with his tail tucked between his legs. Fight him now.
not poisoned. Oh, we're super poisoned. Well, it's a good thing uh, I'm going to level. Because... Hopefully I'll get level 4 spells. Good. is rough. Fuck you, man. Fucking cocksucking bitch. Alright, had to reload. Back down here in the dungeon where I got beat up. Creeping crud. statue back picked up gonna avoid that room I got poisoned in my wizard, or my mage and my cleric rather, and hope that I get level 4 spells. Might not. Let's try to heal up here first. Wow. 
shitty job on that. Alright, we didn't get our level 4 tier spells yet, unfortunately. But Clot got 16 extra hit points, which was a hell of a hell of a bump for us. Uh, Ronstock, unfortunately, only got 3. Uh, but we did get a couple more 1st, 2nd, and 3rd level spells, which of course helps. So let's head back into the dungeon. And see if we can get any more done here. Cast on a surprise round, apparently. So let's try to kill some of these priests. Two level one priests. Ah, getting to identify them a bit more. All right, I need to keep kind of looking at these spells so I can learn them. Do Badios. Actually, I should probably keep those for healing in case I get poisoned again. What else do we got? Shitting themselves and fleeing. On a silvery disc stands a statue of a frog wearing a red and blue cape. The statue animates and shakes its legs while it yells, Yeah! Yeah! You search and find a little froggy statue. Okay. Couple keys, couple statues. Let's see if we can get lucky with our DS spell here. Scroll. 
From what I understand, the good stuff is all found in the dungeon, so... Gotta have it identified, though. Something here. And I'm freaking poisoned. I need to head back to town, anyways. A poison is no joke. Looks like just getting to town cures you of poison. That's interesting and good to know. So what we want to do, because like I said, resting in uh, town eats up a lot of time. So it's actually, and plus you have to rest each of your characters separately. So the best thing to do for this, to counter this a little bit, is to just cure and use all your healing spells and then just rest your cleric and come back in here and do it again I know it sounds crazy but early game it's probably the best thing to do until you get the more powerful healing spells if you're like one one point away for this sucks to be hurting that bad and that's what poison can really really eat away at you so we need to definitely try to get these four tier spells as soon as possible anyways folks that wraps it up I'm gonna do a bit more research and discover as much about the game and uh, the different options Get a spell list printed out to help me memorize these bad boys. I don't know why, whatever happened to just fire being called fireball and shit like that. They want to make it all Latin and shit. But anyways, get ready for a lot of wizardry. Thanks for watching. See you soon.